One of the great remaining medical mysteries is what's behind the dramatic rise in Alzheimer's disease. In a century, we basically went from no Alzheimer's to the seventh leading cause of death in the United States, currently afflicting five million Americans. A provocative theory was published last year in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition. Alzheimer's has become an epidemic. One in ten of us in our 60s, one in five of us in our 70s, and nearly one in three of us in our 80s will develop Alzheimer's disease. Now, some say it's just because you know, we have an aging population, but if you go back and look at the data, prior to about 100 years ago, there was no evidence of Alzheimer's, no matter how old you were. And even now, it's really only a problem in the developed world. Uh, the elderly in India and Africa, for example, are spared the disease. When we look at the epidemiology, we should be shocked. We have allowed something in our environment to steal the minds of our elderly at a terrible cost. As a people, we should be outraged, frightened, and frantically searching for what's in the environment that's causing this terrible onslaught. But instead, the scientific community seems to be kind of passively letting this happen. There's not much research in this area, and most efforts, frankly, are you know, coming up with drugs to try to treat it, rather than trying to prevent it in the first place. Given the link between meat-eating and dementia, some scientists have suggested a prion theory. I mean, maybe Alzheimer's is some human variant of mad cow disease. We certainly are eating more beef, but this new researcher is skeptical, uh, believing the real cause to be something else in our developed environment, namely copper toxicity. Interestingly, that could explain any meat-Alzheimer's connection, because meat-eating may contribute to copper toxicity. Remember the U.S. meat shipment to Mexico that, that Mexico refused to let in? That was because of copper contamination. This researcher blames three things that developed countries have done over the last half century or so. Started using copper plumbing for our water. We started taking a lot of supplements, like multivitamins with copper, and started eating too much meat. So he suggests it's we should you know, test our water for copper, throw out any supplements with copper, and then in terms of diet to prevent Alzheimer's, number three, reduce meat intake, since the copper in meat is much better absorbed. So yeah, blaming meat may actually be right, but this new theory goes it's not the prions. The damaging agent in meat may be copper.